Well, the thing is, Stephanie, is I spent actually a month or two uh, back when I was on the, the Hill full time asking senators about these allegations when they first you know, came to light. I mean, Justin Fairfax was accused of rape, not just, you know, some, you know, he was accused of rape uh, by multiple people. So there's there's multiple people saying that he's committed some sexual allegations. I've talked to Democratic senators about him. They will not even acknowledge acknowledged the allegations against the lieutenant governor, and now he's decided, hey, I'm going to step it up and I'm going to run for governor because no one's called me out for this. No one's picking up on it. No one's digging deep into actually what happened. It's just, you know, whatever. The Me Too movement is a joke in this, in this sense because it only matters when a conservative does something wrong. When a Democrat is, con is, uh, is accused of some, some horrific uh, thing like rape, it just goes under the radar until a reporter has to ask about it. And there aren't very many uh, reporters who ask those types of questions. I will tell you that. Yeah, and I saw this story from the Daily Caller because not really many people are picking up on it. But the audacity for him to run for office, and I believe uh, back in the day uh, when women were accusing Kavanaugh, he piled on as well. Before he was accused, of course. Yeah, he did. He jumped, he jumped right on board. And that's just the saddest part about the whole thing, Stephanie, is because I was watching this all unfold when the Kavanaugh hearings, I watched these people scream in Kavanaugh's face in front of his wife and children, attack this man for, you know, claims that were never defended. But yet Justin Fairfax is accused of raping somebody, actually two people, and here, here they are, it's quiet, silent, on the sidelines. And, you know, they're probably going to go out and campaign for him so that he wins. And that just shows you, I grew up in the state of Virginia. The state of Virginia is going, it's, it's going down the hole. You have a man who's dressed up in blackface as your governor, and now you have a lieutenant governor who's going to be running for the same spot that the man in blackface is who's accused of rape. All right? Yeah. So that just puts you into perspective of where we are in Virginia. Yeah, it's pretty outrageous. And again, I've always believed in due process, and just because somebody makes accusations doesn't mean they're true. But again, these Democrats need to hold them accountable, and they need to treat everyone the same, not just use the Me Too movement as a, a way to attack Republicans, which is what what we've seen. Uh, really quickly, uh, maybe you can explain this to me, because I'm still scratching my head over it. A self-described transsexual Satanist anarchist <laughs> won the Republican nomination for sheriff in a county in New Hampshire. How did that happen? You know, she got lucky, I think, on a write-in vote. I still, I still have just seen uh, her photo floating around and stuff, but she is still running against a five-year incumbent sheriff. So there is a possibility that that guy will win, I think, considering that this person you're talking about has said that she's for, like, defunding the police, that she hates the sheriff's department, but she's running for sheriff, which is pretty hysterical, but actually at the same time kind of scary if she's even being considered for the position. Um, so her, this person's point is to, is to kind of say, hey, Republicans are, are really screwed. Here we are in the country, and I'm about to be elected sheriff. It's kind of a political stunt, in my opinion. But at the same time, it is, it's kind of really happening. It's something to be concerned about. Yeah, her name is uh, Aria DeMezzo, and her campaign slogan was F the police. So I'm not sure there you go. how anyone voted for her. Uh, it's pretty a, a crazy story. <laughs> Pretty mind-boggling, still trying to wrap my uh, brain around all of this. Well, Henry, we're going to have to leave it here. Thank you. No, same here. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.